every time it is being edited it will be evaluated third is any time it's being edited to subsequently meet criteria so the difference between the second point and third point is second point will work every time it is being edited irrespective of what is being edited but in third point it will only be evaluated only uh, if it is being edited to meet the criteria subsequently if it is being edited to meet the criteria right so in this case let us take the third one go to save and next so what we have defined we have defined the object we have defined the rule we have defined the evaluation criteria three things we have defined now what is the only thing left for us the action what should happen if this criteria is met what should it do so it takes us to this stage where we need to specify the workflow actions so this is where we'll have to add the action add workflow actions okay so here also you have two options you can add immediate workflow actions or you can add time dependent workflow actions okay so this immediate workflow action is something which will happen instantly the moment record is created or edited instantly the email will be sent but sometimes you might want to delay the you know action by some time let's say 8 hours after the record was created you want to send an email or two days after the record was created so that that is where you have to add a time trigger and based on that time trigger you can define the time dependent workflow actions right so any actions you define here will be the immediate actions time dependent action you can define a time trigger let's say 3 days after rule trigger day so any action that you define under this time trigger will be uh you know sorry all these actions will be done three you know whatever uh, time trigger we have done after that time correct so that is how it is so let's put immediate action right now okay so in immediate action what we want to do we want to send an email alert we want to send an email right select email alert Now you have to select an email template from here. If you remember in, in our last session, I guess we were talking about these email templates. We designed the email templates and all. So select your email templates, and then select the recipient who should receive it. Owner. Product owner will receive it. If you want. you can put additional email ids to be cc you can put up to 5 email ids to be copied on the email and click on save once it is done you should click on done right now the workflow rule has been created the only thing that is left for us to do is to activate this rule the only thing that is left for us here is the is to activate the rule till the time we do not activate it this will not be active and it will not work remember i mean we were talking about activating the validation rule also 
whenever there is a rule that we are defining in Salesforce, we always need to activate it. Okay. Or you can uh, also deactivate it when you don't want that rule to work. Right. So sometimes you uh, don't want this rule to work, just deactivate it. But now for this to work, first of all, we need to activate it. Anytime you create a workflow rule, validation rule, you want to test it, please go and activate it and then test it. So let's see. Rule activated. Now let me go and create a new. So I'm creating a new record. Let me save it. Okay. Now this should automatically send an email to owner of the record. So which is Vijay. So Vijay just go and check if you have received an email. In the meanwhile I should have also received it. See I have also received an email. So what is written here uh, don't go by that because that is just a uh, the template that we created so you can create any template and you can write whatever you want here but automatically it sends an email so why did it send it to me because I put my email ID in the uh, CC part so it has copied me on that email it has sent it to Vijay and it has kept me CC on this automated email got that thing it's a very useful uh, attribute in Salesforce which you can use for automating a lot of stuff. So this is something which is required, right? Whenever there is a lead entered into the system or a contact entered into the system and uh, you want to send an automated email, usually what happens, you know, there is a lead which has come and sales guy sets and starts drafting an email. So these kind of email sending thing can be, you know, pretty much automated automated emails can be sent. So every time this guy does not have to send those emails at all. Got that? So that's about our workflow rule. Now similar to a workflow rule is an approval process. Okay, so what is an approval process? Approval process is where you want to have a process of approval in place. Process of approval when I say I mean you want the records to be approved. Okay, so in workflow what is happening? It, the record meets certain criteria, you send an email or you uh, do some action and that's it. But in approval process the record meets some criteria and based on the record meeting the criteria you want an approval from someone okay I mean just take a simple example when you apply for leave or something in a company uh, it goes, goes to your manager so automatically I mean, system should control that approval process you should not need to you know go to the manager and say well, okay fine I need this and all that stuff right the Salesforce manages for this kind of thing. Okay. Let's say in this case Vijay is uh, the CEO of the company. Okay. For that Salesforce instance that we are talking about. Anytime Price of product is more than five hundred dollars. It requires approval from. Let's say now this is a scenario. It's not just about sending an email and uh, that's it. It is about if the price is more than five hundred dollar, it requires an approval. So how this works? The moment you create the record, the record will be created. Okay. Then it automatically sends. I mean, 